Trading Dwight Howard in August of 2012, the Orlando Magic have been one of the worst teams in the NBA. The Orlando Magic have not made the playoffs in the last six seasons, and it doesn't look like they'll make it again this year unless GM Jidel can turn it around. Guys, what's up? GM Jidel's back. I'm ready to fix the Magic. Now, I actually feel so bad for the Magic. For those of you who don't know, the Magic are one of the newer teams in the NBA. They were founded in 1989, one year after the Miami Heat. In the beginning, the Magic looked like they were going to be the better franchise. They had drafted Shaq. They had Penny Hardaway. They got Tracy McGrady. But then, the Miami Heat ended up winning a title with the Magic's best player of all time, Shaquille O'Neal. And then the Heat went on to win two more titles. The Magic have really, they've been the Clippers to the Heat's Lakers, essentially. I don't know why I'm here helping the Magic. I am a Heat fan, but I'm here to fix them. So here's my initial kind of look at the team. I'm putting Aaron Gordon on the trading block. I feel like I don't want him playing next to Mo Bamba. He can't shoot. Bamba's going to be my big man. I'm going to run four shooters around him. Vucevic, we got to trade. We don't need him on the team with Bamba. He's got a big contract. Ross has a big contract. We don't need him. Fournier is a meme. Don't need him. Mozgov. I definitely don't need him. And of course, I want to go after Jimmy Butler because, well, he wants to be traded. D'Angelo Russell I want because he's a point guard. And the untouchables I have, Mo Bamba, building block of the future. Jonathan Isaac, hopefully the other building block of the future. So let's get to it. Let's see if we can find a trade for Jimmy Butler. And there's no offers, which is not the most realistic thing. So instead of going right for him, let's see what I can get for Aaron Gordon. Nobody's super good. So teams kind of value him the same way I do. It seems like not as like an elite player. Tobias Harris, it'd be fun to bring him back, but we don't need him. I'm not seeing a trade that I love. All right, maybe I can package him with Vucevic. Kyle Lowry, that's interesting. He has a big contract, and we also get Siakam to bring off the bench. Mostly, I want to get off Vucevic contract. Ah, that's a tough trade, though, to make. Oh, Memphis is offering us Jaron Jackson, and we, we get to, we have a top, but we'd have to give up a top three protected pick. Oh, that's tough. Jaron Jackson could be a beast though. I think he's gonna end up being better than Aaron Gordon. Uh, I kind of like this trade. Let's just get young talent on the team. Giving up this pick is rough, so I'm also gonna want to pick from them. An unprotected second they'll make me add and I get Dillian Brooks. Okay, that's fair. That was a lot of negotiating. All right, we also want to trade Evan Fournier because his contract's massive. Pistons will give me a first round pick. That could be interesting. And I also have to take on John Lure's contract. I think I'm gonna trade for this one. Getting the Pistons first round pick could be valuable. You know, I'm. this is gonna be a long rebuild. This will not be a short one. So getting first round picks could be di the difference. Who else did I want to trade? Terrence Ross. If I can get a pick for him, I would be happy. Yikes, these are bad trades so far. You know what, actually Terrence Ross's contract expires this year, so I'm only gonna look to trade Mozgov for some salary space. One year deal, Bismack Biombo, <laughs> welcome back to the Magic. Uh, I have to give up a second round pick, but that's fine. I'm gonna get cap space from losing Biombo's contract at the end of the season, so I like that. So our rotation this first season, Conley, Jonathan Simmons, Jonathan Isaac, we got two Jonathans. Jaron Jackson, what if he was Jonathan Jackson? Mo Bamba, Augustine off the bench. It's not a great team, honestly. This is not a winning team, but there's a lot of good young players. Look at the front court. Isaac, Jackson, Bamba. This is the future of the team, and then we just gotta figure out the guard situation afterward, which could be tough, but who knows. But we beat the Heat our first game, and then we beat the Hornets, and then we lose to the Sixers. Okay, so there's a chance we go like 500 or so, because it's the Eastern Conference, and the East It's kind of weak. It's kind of a weak conference. Not, let's, let's be honest here, guys. We are actually 9-4, and 9-5. and five. This was unexpected. I was kind of hoping to tank here, but hey, if we're good, we're good. You know, that's a good sign going forward. I feel like no matter what, like if we tank, we get a good player. That's a success. If we end up making the 8th seed, then that means, you know, maybe I have some good sim players. That's also a success. Oh, this is a killer trade. All right, so we're going to trade Augustine for Shabazz Napier. I don't know why Brooklyn offered us this, but it's a definite win for us. Oh my god, we just beat the Warriors. It's contract extension day. Let's see if we have any contract extensions to give out. Mike Conley wants to test free agency. Fine with me. John Lur will resign. <laughs> no. Uh, Terrence Ross will resign. No. So no one I really care about wants to resign. So goodbye to y'all. Don't think we're gonna make the playoffs now that we are at 2836. But you know things could uh, things could change. Maybe it's a weak enough East that we can get in with like 36 wins. That that'd be very unlikely. But honestly, the fact that we're even a 30 win team is is is, is awesome. 
It's just awesome. All right, and with that win to the Hornets, we finished the season 35 and 47. Honestly, considering the type of players we have, I'm kind of happy with that. Jaron Jackson, all rookie first team. That's what I like to see. And Mo Bamba, all rookie second team. A little disappointing there. I was hoping he'd be a first teamer, but it's tight. Let's see how narrowly we missed the playoffs by. All right, so we weren't exactly close to making the playoffs there, but next season I feel like we're gonna get it. Will the Raptors win the playoffs like they seem to every single first season in this game? They just swept the heat, and the Warriors are having a tough time with the Timberwolves, it looks like, but they do pull it out, and it's Raptors-Warriors, and the Rap the Warriors win. The Warriors win. Okay, Cousins was MVP. And Popovich agreed to sign with us. I don't know why. We here it's $40 million. Oh my god, we gave him a lot of money. I spent my entire budget on Craig Popovich. <laughs> oh no. Alright, everyone else is just gonna suck. I might just sim this part and just let the computer do it. Yeah, no one's gonna want to sign with us. I gave them all horrible offers because I Oh, this guy signed with us. No one else. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna let the computer handle that since I just screwed it. Jimmy Butler declined his player option. That's who we're going for. Alright, I'm trading Bitcoin. Max and he accepted his player option for these dudes to get some salary space. Boom. Now we got to trade John Lure still. We wanted to resign. Oh no, no, not at your contract, little boy. And the Warriors will give us first round picks for him, so we're just going to take that, even though those picks won't be anything. It's just salary cap space. All right, so we go into free agency with 24 million in cap room. I honestly thought we were going to have more. Mike Conley happened. He's making 32 million. So Mike Conley is going to get traded for Markel Fultz. We just got our point guard of the future. I don't know why the Sixers are doing this, because we're giving them a first round pick. I don't even think I should look at the other offers, honestly. Brandon Ingram, and eh, no, we have Isaac. No, I love this trade, holy cow. Markel Fultz, there we go, boom. And now we have 47 million in cap room, so we're gonna go after Jimmy Butler. Um, I'm not going for Durant, I'm not gonna go for Irving, because Irving just said he'd re-sign with the Celtics. In real life, Kevin Durant would never sign with the Magic. Cousins, we have Bamba. So I'm gonna go after Butler and Clay. Just seems like the best two offers for me. Clay agreed to sign with us. I'm just gonna grab Clay. I'm also gonna sign Tyreek Evans for our bench. We don't need Jimmy Butler. He signed with the Lakers. Oh, that's an interesting team there. So now I only have four million in cap room left. We need to get a backup big man. Tyler Zeller seems like the backup big we want. I renounce the rights to Fournier and Augustine. I get more cap room too. That opened up 16 mil. I could get Bobby Portis to sign off the bench. Or, hmm, backup big man. We could get Miritich, that's a good one. Zeller signed with us. Miritich signed with us. We got Clay, we got Tyreek, Bamba, Jackson. Everyone's getting better. This is a good young team. Okay, so our year two lineup Markel Fultz, Clay Thompson, Jonathan Isaac, Jaron Jackson, Mo Bamba. That is an awesome five man unit, especially when, as we progress through the few years. Off the bench, Tyreek Evans, Miritich, Jonathan Simmons, Zeller, and Napier. Actually, we should probably trade Jonathan Simmons now that we got Tyreek Evans. And we could get Bam Adebayo, who's a good young player for basically free. That, or Malik Monk, that also makes a lot of sense. Wow. Yeah, let's go with Bam. Bam, just, he's the right choice here. Okay. I don't know why the Heat would ever make that trade. So now I don't need Tyler Zeller, so we're gonna get rid of him in a few few weeks. But we start the season off with a win, a win, a loss, Ugh! a W against the Celts, that's a big one. Can we beat the Jazz, another big one? Ooh, we are four and one. And now we lose two straight, come on. Wow, we lose, but now we're four and four, just like that. Win, loss, uh, I don't wanna be a 500 team. I just want us to make the playoffs this year. That's all I really want. All right, last year around this time, we had a winning record. So I don't want to get too overconfident, but right now we find ourselves at 14 and nine. So, you know, if we finish the season like with 44 wins, that's a huge improvement from last year. I will definitely take it. The Clay Thompson effect there, Markel Fultz moving in. Ooh, we're 20 and 12, 21 and 12. We're looking nice here, boys, 22 and 12. Yo, this team is pretty sweet. All right, I'm at January 7th. I want to trade Zeller because I feel like he doesn't really have a place on the team at this point, but we're winning games, so this is going to be tough. Montrez Harrell could be good for this team, low key, low key. He'll actually be kind of useful, and he's younger. Ooh, Kyle Anderson, he's even better, but he's on a bad contract. Eh. I'm gonna make this trade for Harrell. I think he's a good player. I feel like he'll have a place on the team. Actually, Miritich is a power forward, but Miritich can play small forward in the right lineup, so it's a more natural fit, in my opinion. Our first two games after the Zeller trade are losses. Our first three games are losses. Our first four games after that Zeller trade are all losses. How is this? Five! What? That was a good trade for us. Oh my god, we lose six straight. All right, first up, Jonathan Isaac needs to play more than 24 minutes a game. Miritich, you can calm down with your minutes. Autobio, calm down with your minutes. Bolts is up to 32. Isaac, up to 28. Bamba, up to 28. Jaron Jackson, up to 27. Even Clay should probably play more, but 
it's whatever. I'm playing the starters more. There's no reason this team should ever lose seven straight games. That was ridiculous. Bucks, that's a tough game too. We better win it. We win it. Okay, we're back to our ways. CPU made a horrible minutes rotation there, but I saved the operation, guys. So we are at 37-24. Lakers game. This is a big game against Jimmy Butler, and we win 39-24. We are looking pretty good here. This will be the first time the Magic will have a winning season since Dwight Howard left, so that's pretty fuego for us. We're at 42. There we go. Winning record. And we might even hit 50 wins here. So this team is actually looking really, really solid. Dang it. Beat the Sixers, get to 50 wins. Yes, 50 win team. That's actually pretty insane, in my opinion. To get to 50 wins two years after that mess of a roster we inherited to start this whole thing. KCPU always offered you some lopsided trades, but these have been ridiculous. We're the third seed going against the Bulls, who, uh, how did the Bulls make the playoffs? Who do they have on their team nowadays? Chris Dunn. Valentine, Jabari, Markin, and Steven Adams. Interesting. Carter, Rondé Hollis, Jefferson. So they're just kind of a solid team. I feel, like, I feel like we're better. That's why we're the third seed. They're the sixth seed. Simulate game. We win game one. We win game two. Can we win game three? Just choke them out. Yes, we can. Can we sweep them? Ooh, we sweep them. And now we're going against the Hawks, who also swept their opponent in the first round. Yeah, they beat us game one. They beat us game two. They beat us game three. Are they gonna sweep us after we swept? Oh, they swept us. Are you kidding me? And that looks like they're... Are they gonna beat the Raptors? Are they gonna beat the Raptors? The Atlanta Hawks? Oh, no, no, no. It's 3-3 and who's going? The Hawks! Oh my god, the Hawks might win the NBA Finals! The Hawks are the NBA champions. Why didn't I just rebuild the Hawks? Okay, well, we're going into the third season now. Feeling good about our team. Everyone's getting better. They're, needing to get, they're gonna need to get a lot better though if we wanna beat that Hawks team. All right, we're about to accept the team option of basically our whole team since our entire team is super young except for Melvin Frazier. Sorry, Melvin. Now we don't have any cap space, so we can't go after anyone in free agency, so we're going to trade the player progression. Play up to a 90, Bamba 83, Jackson 83, Fultz 82, Isaac 81. Evans went down, but he's a bench guy. It's okay. Our bench is still full of 80s. I like that a lot. Yeah, this team's still really solid. Um, we should get to mid-50s next season, I feel like. So it's pretty much the same rotation as last year. It still doesn't want to give Isaac a lot of minutes. I, I don't know what's up with that. All right, I feel good about our team. I feel really good about our team. Let's, let's get it. Come on, Dub. Beat the Hawks. There we go. We beat the defending champs. He had the second pick in the draft. We should be able to beat them. Hold on, we're being offered Julius Randle and a second round pick. I like the contract I had for Miritich better. Plus he's a better shooter. He can play small forward from a bench lineup. We're 3-0. We don't need to make these trades. We are looking good. Celtics, that's a dub. 4-0, boys. Come on, 5-0, boys. Beat the Clips, 6-0, 7-0. Oh, we're looking good. It's a really good all around team we have. Like there's literally no weaknesses for any single player who gets minutes on the team. But we have now lost two straight. But we bounce back, and then we lose. 10 and 3. If we maintain a 10 and 3 pace the whole season, I'll be so happy. 36 and 17. Can we get to 40 wins before 20 losses? You guys know the rule. It's a big moniker. We're at 37, 19. I don't know if we're gonna get it. We're gonna have to win three straight. Uh, we got the Sixers and the Bulls. Those are two tough teams, but we beat the Sixers. Did we beat the Bulls? Yes, we beat the Bulls. Oh, and now we have the Warriors. Ah, we beat them. We're 40 and 19. 42, 20. So I don't know if we're a super dominant team, but we are looking pretty good here. I think we're gonna get to the mid 50 wins, which is what I wanted us to get to. Wow, we're actually going on a huge winning streak right now. Last year we had 52 wins. Right now we're at 51. Can we get a little bit higher? Can we get this Raptors dub? Can we, oh, we lose by a point. Can we get this Raptors dub? Oh, we win by a lot. We've won more games this season than last season, so we did improve, but honestly, with three games left, looks like we're not gonna get that much better than last year. 55 wins, and we have 56 wins. 56, 26, that's a pretty good record. Here we are, the second seed going against the Celtics. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three. Goes to the Celtics. Oh no, come on. Please don't lose in the first round. Yes, we're up 3 1. Come on. Come on. Let's finish them off. We have a rematch with the Atlanta Hawks. This time we're the higher seed. Will it make a difference? I don't know. All right, game one. They won. Clay's going to guard Kyrie. Hopefully that makes a difference here in game two. It does not. They win. Are we really going to get swept by the Hawks two years in a row? The Atlanta Hawks is the team that's gonna stop me from winning a title. Really, I know for a fact I would have beaten the Wizards and the Nets. You know, without a doubt in my mind, I would have beaten those teams. The Hawks are back-to-back -back champions, bro. You've gotta be kidding me. That the draft lottery, the order of the teams will be decided by an elimination tournament. So that's actually crazy exciting. 
but sadly we're not a lottery team, so we're not a part of that. I think I own somebody's pick this year. We do, we have a top four pick. Look at that. Is there anything? Oh my God. We're gonna be offered Dario and Shabazz for the pick. We could be offered Brogdon for the pick. These are all gonna super boost our bench, which is what I want. Jabari Parker and Alan Williams for the bench. That could be killer. Man, oh my god, Drummond we could get off the bench. DeMar DeRozan for this pick. That's a definite, that's a definite trade, bro. Team player options, accepting Bamba and Jackson, of course. Qualifying offers for Fultz, Adebayo, and Isaac. This is huge. We need to re-sign all these guys. Adebayo wants to get an offer from the Hawks. Three years, $50 million. I don't know if I want to pay Adebayo 17 mil a season. I need that space to re-sign Isaac and Fultz, Jaron Jackson and Bamba the following year. So we're not going to match Adebayo. I'm offering Fultz a mega deal. And I'm going to offer Isaac also a big deal. Adebayo wants to sign with the Clippers now for three years, 58. That's even more than the Hawks offered, so that's a no-no. Fultz and Isaac both wanted to sign these big deals, so we get them back. We're at negative 59 million in cap room now. Clay at 90. Bamba, 86. DeRozan down to an 85. That's fine. I want to bring him off the bench. Fultz, 85. Jaron Jackson, 84. Isaac, 83. Isaac, ah! Expected a bit more from you, my big dog. So, team is still pretty solid. We lost Adebayo, but we gained DeRozan. Honestly, that's kind of a net win, but we don't have a backup big, which is kind of a problem. All right, I think I'm gonna try to trade Tyreek Evans for a backup center. Tyreek's been great for us. He won six man last year, but now we got DeRozan. <laughs> Sorry, Tyreek. All right, so the lineup now. Markel Fultz. Clay Thompson, Jonathan Isaac, Jaron Jackson, Mo Bamba, same starting lineup. Everyone in it is better nowadays. Like, everyone is pretty good. The bench, though. DeMar DeRozan, Saric, Miritich, and Brooks. That is a solid bench, and it's an amazing starting lineup. I'm expecting us to just tear the league apart this year. So let's get it. Duh! Oh, God. The Hawks. A lot. We can't beat the Hawks! Why can't we beat the Hawks, bro? I don't get it. God, we are eight and seven. We're doing actually so much worse than last year. It makes no sense. We're gonna get it together. We need a guest appearance. You want a guest? Yeah. You want to check out now, the team we James, built? As your um, show me your team, bro. Let me see what you team. Magic? Yeah. Interesting choice. We got, you snagged the Clay Thompson. We got Clay, Mo Bamba, Fultz. DeRozan, Jaron Jackson, Isaac, Saric, Miritich, Brooks. Yeah, this this has been a great rebuild. So you're just like, I you just have a solid squad. We're four years into the future. Okay. The Atlanta right. Hawks have become a dynasty. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who do they have? What? Yeah, no, they've won the what last two. They have, they've won the last two championships. They've been the only team who could beat me in the playoffs. We got Kyrie. Oh. Trey Young has been a monster for them. What the hell? Colin, I don't know how this team is a dynasty because my team's so much better. Yeah, dude, your team is way better. For some reason, this season I'm off doing Champion, way worse. Championship or bust, dude. Dude, that's how I'm feeling, dude. Picking up losses, it doesn't make sense. We're 13 and 10. All right, we beat the Warriors. We beat the Lakers. Can we beat the Clippers? Come on. It's time to start winning some games here. 22 and 10. We are finally picking things up here. I don't know what that start to the season was. Maybe our chemistry was off. I feel like I don't know enough about the game mode, to be completely honest with you guys. Hawks! Can we beat the Hawks? Please! Oh my god, why can we never beat them? I feel like our team is so much better this season, so I'm kind of confused. Like, I don't know what to do. Maybe losing out of bio really hurt the team not having that backup big. 33 and 19, I'm not happy with how the team's doing. I think maybe we should try to trade Miritich into a center. If I could get like a good backup center for Miritich, that would be solid. Maybe we're missing Tyreek, bro. Maybe we need to bring him back. Jared Allen, he's on contract for a minute. He's a backup center. He's short though. Or he's 6'11", he's not too short. All right, we're gonna make this trade for Jared Allen and we get a top three protected pick. Hopefully having this trade will boost the team or something. Just, we've been so disappointing. DeRozan, Saric, Allen, Brooks, this bench is so good. I, it's just, it feels like we should be doing better. Come on now, guys, let's win the title. No more messing around. After that loss to the Suns, we won four straight. Then we lost to the Bulls. It just seems like this team can't string together a bunch of wins. I don't get it. We're gonna re-sign Clay. Have negative 104 million if we re-sign Clay Thompson. Hawks. Lose. Dude, we cannot beat the Hawks. It doesn't make sense. And we might finish with 56 wins again, which would tie us with last season. So we have the same record as we did last year. Just this time, we're in the same side of the bracket as the Hawks. We're a six seed this year. They're literally so much worse. We just gotta beat this Bulls team first. Detroit might beat Atlanta. Oh, it's 1-1. Come on, Detroit. Oh, Atlanta's up 2-1, and we're up 3-0. We are gonna sweep this first round matchup again. 
Guys, pray that the Hawks lose to the Pistons. Pray. Pray. Game seven. Yes! Detroit! We're playing against Detroit. I'm so happy. They're they're actually a better team than Atlanta record-wise, but you all know Atlanta has my number. Simulating game. We beat Detroit in game one. Can we beat them in game two? We beat them in game two. Can we beat them in game three? Yes, it's going to be a sweep. It is going to be a sweep, boys. Let's go. Let's go. No Hawks. Oh, my God. And we're going against the eight-seeded Knicks. Jerry and Grant Hardaway, 86-92. Oh, this team is not that good. Their bench is amazing. But their starting lineup is kind of trash. We win game one. Are we going to win game two? We win game two. Are we going to win game three? We win game three. Are we going to win game four? Are we going to the NBA Finals? We're going to the NBA Finals! Against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, that could be tough. Okay. We actually had more wins than them. Come on. We win game one. We win game two. We win game three. Oh my god, we're gonna sweep. We swept! We're champions! Let's go! Yes! We did it! We did it! We did it! We won the title with the Orlando Magic. Great rebuild. Now, it doesn't feel quite as good because we didn't beat the Hawks in the process. You know, if we beat the Hawks on the way there, it would have been like 50 times more satisfying. But you take a W when you can. We won the title. Hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. Leave a like below. Make sure to check out one of my previous rebuilds over here. Comment what you thought, what team you should do next. I think I'm going to do the Trailblazers next. Let me know what you think of that. And peace.